classmate yesterday um, somebody asked about how to GOT, how to plan your study so that you can GOT graduate on time, how to choose a supervisor. Okay, basically when you want to choose a supervisor, uh, you look at their sorry. Um, basically you look at their area of expertise and Waalaikum Salam Mariam and uh, before you enroll maybe you want to uh, meet your potential supervisor to like have a chit chat a normal this informal informal discussion what you uh, look at what your interest in so if he or she your potential supervisor might have the same interest like you or whether he or she your potential supervisor can have a uh, a good input or have um, really um, a good input to supervise you in that particular area okay so choose supervisor that has area related to the area that you want to do research because um, a good supervisor who know um, in a particular area that you want to study on uh, will have a better knowledge I mean he will like he will know which is the current issue that you should seek for when you try to find a gap for example okay uh, that is one so like kalau dalam in Malay we can call it like merisik dulu okay get to know first before um, before you actually uh, being uh, award or, or being given that supervisor to you uh, and how to GOT graduate on time basically when you you need to bear in mind if you don't have any experience before in doing research so you might have um, an ample time to, you must give yourself an ample time to understand the process itself in order to to do the reading to understand the reading itself to do the writing so you you must be generous to yourself and be fair to yourself um, to understand the process in towards becoming the researcher okay so becoming a researcher itself so um, um, in order for you to GOT um, be patient give yourself um, an ample time to understand the process but of course you need to follow the guideline or sorry the timeline that you have put like six months the first six months okay the first three months you need to do um, a thorough reading of the literature and another three months you will try to like um, focus or finalize uh, or um, improve your problem statement write, writing and accordingly you are managing your literature uh, content uh, list of content so you know what you will look uh, right inside your literature review chapter okay so this all relate to the um, uh, problem statement theoretical framework and conceptual framework like I say my um, upcoming class on the literature review uh, how easy it is to find a gap and also how to develop theoretical and conceptual framework is this coming Saturday is on the 3rd February 9 to 5 you can leave your um, call, uh, email if you want to join it, it's still open so um, and like um, if you have the timeline what you should achieve you must meet the timeline and if you uh, encounter a problem face a problem uh, along this process you must seek help you don't sit there keep quiet and hope hope that the problem resolve on its own so it, it will not happen that way so you should like um, find help if you face a problem or difficulties throughout this um, study process okay so all right uh, thank you very much so anyway don't forget that I have a special announcement for my 18 18th anniversary next Monday so count down to that so I will have um, give special announcement on what we have here um, so I will share to you uh, next week so anyway um, good luck I hope uh, all the I wish you all the best so hopefully you will get uh, the most through from your research journey so therefore the knowledge will be passed down the knowledge experience will be passed down to your uh, supervisee later Okay, alright, assalamualaikum.